before I get started, just in case you can hear like some noises in the background, that's because my daughter's taking a shower. So um, hopefully you won't be able to hear too much. So here is my planner. It is from Doki Book. Now you've probably already seen this if you follow me on Snapchat. I showed this to you guys when I first got it in, and I did want to pick this white with gold just because of all the colors I had to choose from. This one said Christmas to me the most. They really didn't have like a true Christmas green or a true Christmas red at all, so I really felt like this one was a great alternative. I will link everything that I talk about down below. Doki Book is a very affordable planner, and it's very comparable to Kiki K, so it's kind of like a Kiki K dupe. So let's go ahead and jump right in because there's a lot to see. So of course, here is what my Doki book looks like on the outside. And here is the side just so that you can kind of see how thick it is right now. And if we open it, here is what it currently looks like on the inside. There are a couple of few cute little embellishments. These are just some paper clips that I actually made myself. This is from Hobby Lobby. Here's a whole bag of them, and they were $2.99 at 50% off, so they were $1.50. And then I just hot glued a gold paper clip to the inside, and I have a cute little Santa hat paper clip. And then this bow right here I actually got as a gift from a subscriber, and I have a couple more of these throughout the planner, and you'll see that. And I feel like this looks really great for a vintage feel, and so I, of course, wanted to make it into a paper clip as well. And it's probably my favorite uh, item throughout this whole thing are these little bows. And then I just have some washi back here. This is a little booklet of washi. I was sent this in a pocket letter. And I end up using this uh, glittery green washi in here. And then this is just a wood chip Chris Merry Christmas tag. I love that it like goes with my whole vintage feel. And then I thought this tag was really cute. Don't open until December 25th. So I just kind of wanted to stick it in here so that I could see it. And then this is just a Santa. This is a entire huge sticker of Santa Claus. I got this at Hobby Lobby. I just haven't used him yet. Same thing with this Santa right here. He's really cute. He's a huge sticker as well. Just haven't used him. So then over here, I have my little pom-pom. I've done these a lot throughout my planner videos. I feel like they're so fun and vibrant. And then this is where ultimately I started to realize that this was going to go in a vintage theme because ultimately I did not even have that as a concept whatsoever. I just kind of thought I was going to take my favorite images and put them in here and then that just turned out to be vintage. So completely obsessed. So here's the first page and I did a lot of layering and this scrapbook is actually very sturdy. It's very thick so when I doubled up with this pattern and then I glued this pattern to the back. It made it very thick, so I didn't even have to laminate it at all. So if I take really good care of this, it should last. So I'm just gonna be really gentle and try not to bend the corners or anything um, because I do want these tabs to last for a very long time. And essentially that's what these are. They are tabs. I just didn't want to actually add little indicators on the side. This is the first tab, which is basically my calendar. So when we flip over to it, Here's the other side. So if you're wondering about this right here, it came from this scrapbook section. Lewis Family Vacation, $8.99, the paper studio. Of course, when I got it, it was 50% off. So essentially it was like, what, $4.50? And they have some of the most fantastic patterns in here. So I just added this, I added some washi. All right, so in here is going to be my December monthly at a glance. This way I can add like all of my major things that I wanna see, whether it's gonna be Hallmark movies or when I need to do some shopping or when orders are coming kind of thing. Um, that's probably what I'll, I'll add here. But thinking right off the bat, it's probably gonna be where I mark all of my Hallmark movies and stuff, cause that's, um, because there's going to be other spots for online ordering and stuff you'll see soon. So I do want to talk about these inserts that I have here because they're absolutely fantastic. So I stumbled upon it. I don't even know how, but the website is called polka.posy.com. I'll link it down below. And then um, she has a ton of free printables, by the way, ton of free printables. And this was her 2015 collection, I believe. 
And so it's for sale on Etsy for $5. You get the whole kit for five single dollars. And as soon as you pay for it, you get the download link and you download it and all you have to do is print it and cut it and then and do your punch holes. And let me tell you, I did try to attempt my own inserts. And that's when I thought to myself, this is way too hard. I need to find someone who's already done these and all I have to do is print them out and punch hole them. And that is how I found this. And of all the designs I saw on Etsy, this one was my favorite. It just really went well with my planner theme, the colors and everything I felt like was very vintage to me. So I'm completely obsessed with this kit and if you guys are going to do any DIY inserts or anything and you're not really into like digitally designing or if you just don't have that kind of time because we are almost at December, I would highly recommend purchasing her kit. She does make them in multiple sizes also by the way, so I'll link them all down below. Again, I'll tell you the hardest part of this whole planner was trying to do my own inserts and... You'll see a couple of my attempts, but ultimately obsessed with hers. Then I wanted to go ahead and add a second month at a glance, just in case I wanted like more room to write more stuff. And this is actually what came with my Doki book. Here is the second tab, who's obsessing, just me. All right, so this is what I call my tracker tab. Um, or basically online ordering tracker. So I do a lot of online shopping. If you watch my videos, you know this about me. It's my favorite thing to do, especially now that I have Ebates. So if you're doing any online shopping, please do yourself a favor and go through Ebates. I'll leave a link for sign up for that as well. Online ordering is a huge section for me. Um, I want to be able to track everything because I want to make sure I'm getting everything. And if you do so much online shopping, you can quickly lose track of things coming in. I mean, I got to a point where I did 95% online ordering last year that I actually lost an item in my house. I have to be completely organized this year. So this is that tab and this is from the Dollar Tree. I added some washi and then here's the back is this not the most gorgeous thing ever? So these are just, you know, my favorite vintage images. I just went to Google, did a search for like vintage Christmas and just basically copied them over to Word and resized them and printed them out. That's it. So if you're wondering where to find all of these images that I'm finding, I just Googled uh, vintage Christmas. All right, so here is my attempt at doing my own inserts. I really do like how I turned out. It's just very time consuming and as you can see it's nowhere near as beautiful as polka dot posies. So and by the way when you buy the her this kit right here you can keep downloading as many pages as you want because you own the digital download once you pay for it. So this is essentially where I would track my online ordering. For myself, I put date order, the item description, the website where I got it, the scheduled delivery date so that I can you know, pay attention to that, who's it for and did I receive it. So online ordering is a really big thing because nowadays there's unfortunately some people who just start to drive by neighborhoods and check porches and stuff. So um, the scheduled delivery is very, very important to watch out for. But if we take a look at uh, polka dot posies, she did date, item purchased, merchant, order ship number, the amount, and then the checkbox. So really great data in here. I really, really like it. And then here is this tab, holiday baking, probably one of my favorite tabs in here. I layered a lot of scrapbook on top of scrapbook. You'll probably see me use that in my uh, tutorial because I will be putting out a video on how I made my tabs. So that video will be coming soon. I just wanted to get this video up right away so that you guys can take a good look so that you can gather your materials and get going. So then I just used some sticker letter holiday baking. And of course, this is a vintage image of the bakery. And then here is the back. Oh my gosh, I'm just so beyond obsessed. It's ridiculous. Again, layering and washi. And then this is one of my favorite vintage images. She's, you know, at the door knocking, very cute. And then here is the polka dot posies insert, holiday baking, and this is probably my favorite inserts of all the ones that she had. This is the one that really sold me was this whole layout. I can only imagine how long this took for her to do, so I completely appreciate all her time and efforts. Things I wanna make, 
cute little gingerbread so I can list all the things I want to make and then the ingredients and supplies I might need to buy and then you know occasion the date what I'm making and the quantity I mean that probably really won't come into play for me because it'll just be like for me and my daughter but overall this is the cutest layout ever and again I can print like 2,000 of these if I wanted to because I own the digital download and then here is this one the Christmas dinner schedule This is really cool. I've never thought of this before in the past So this is really really cool and you get like a little time clock over here And then this is what's on the menu and things that you don't want to forget and then here's another one part of our kit Which is the meal planner appetizer relish entree side dish two side dish vegetable salad bread dessert beverage and then you've got the event title and the date so that's really cool so I decided to print a couple of those here is a tab that I'm finding to be very very fun it's kind of like my Christmas wish now I really never even thought of a Christmas wish in my life it's only until I started watching Hallmark movies that I'm always hearing this Christmas wish Christmas wish and I'm like you know what I want to jump on that bandwagon and write to Santa and tell him my Christmas wish too I thought that would be really really cute I mean I'm sorry, you just can't be too old for Santa. You just can't. So I have these cute little stickers that I got at Hobby Lobby. Of course, I layered again with the scrapbook, and then I wrote wish. Just because I was limited with my sticker lettering, so I had to just, you know, compromise. So this is wish. And then the back here, I took a Dollar Tree wrapping paper. That's what this is. And you will actually see me put together this in an upcoming video. Okay, so here is my own attempt at making an insert. I really do like how it turned out, but this is really what caused me to find an already made kit because this took so long to do. Dear Santa, this year I've been really, and then I can select naughty or nice, and then love, and then I'll sign my name. And this is where I'll just kind of put my Christmas wish. And then I took some notepads from the Target Dollar Spot punch hold them and, and, and put them in here so that I can add more of a Christmas wish if I wanted to. Here is this tab, which is, I'm calling it a list. I didn't really want to say to do because I thought that it wasn't the correct verbiage to kind of go with my theme. So I thought list was just, I don't know, more vintage. I don't know why. So I guess to do sounds more modern. So this image really inspired me because the colors were really different so I wanted to make it like a snowflake theme so I added this snowflake uh, scrap of paper here is the back so I'm obsessing about the back because I feel like it's true cheap crafty girl planner DIY I added my signature envelope and card I figured this was the perfect place to do that because it's a to-do list so it gives me more writing room and I love that I kind of carried the washi I did this plaid washi which I got at Dollar Tree and this was Dollar Tree like two years ago so I don't think this is recent Dollar Tree. And then this light washi, I'm not sure where I got this, probably Hobby Lobby. As you can see, it's up here as well. I did add the envelope just because I wanted this red trim behind here, but you can't actually access the red envelope. So it's really just this. And I also got this as a gift set from a subscriber, which I'm in love with. And every time I, I look at all my gifts, I think of how you guys know me so very well and you're so considerate to send me things that you think I will love and you always nail it every single time. Hello, hello. And then this is Polka Dot Posey's insert to do. Look how cute. I didn't even honestly plan that because I had done these tabs before I got the insert. Do you see how perfect that is? Just be mindful like me. If you can see, I kind of cut into the little dots. Be mindful where you're, you have to hole punch so that you don't actually cut into the image. So essentially what I'll write in here is just all the things I have to do. You know, if I need to run errands or go to the bank or just any, any kind of notes that I'll need to take. You know, if, if there's like a sale online, I need to pay attention to it or like coupon codes or anything like that, I'll list that here. And then here is where I start using this beautiful bow, Obsessed. And this is what I'm calling gifts. So this is like where I would put my gift ideas. So adorable and she's shopping. So I thought this was the appropriate image for here. And then here is the back. How gorgeous. Okay, so here's a funny story. When I found this image, 
it said it's beginning to look a lot like cocktails. I just thought it was so funny and the look on her face, she's kind of like, hey, I'm over it. But um, I just thought it was so cute. I decided to keep the verbiage, but otherwise I really don't drink, so whatever. I just thought it was really cute. So again, here is my personal insert. It says gift list, and then I put recipient, item description, the website or store, and have I ordered it. So this is essentially like ideas. It's not necessarily anything that's completed because anything that's completed would go into order tracking up here. So here, oh, I double-sided it. So I glued it to itself and double-sided it. And then here is a polka dot posies insert for Santa's gift list. What's the gift? Who's it for? And the amount. Here's a different version that she also has. This one has it like broken down into little sections, which I really like. All right, so here is another tab and I'm calling it stocking, but otherwise this is where I would put my stocking stuffer ideas. Um, that's a really big thing for me to keep track of because honestly the stocking is probably my favorite thing of, of everything. I feel like some of the greatest gifts goes into stocking stuffers. So I wanted to go with this old vintage car feel. Again, this is an image that I found when I typed in vintage Christmas. Here's that bow again. And then I just layered it with like really fun vintage feel scrapbooking. And then this is a sheet um, that I got at Hobby Lobby. So if you saw my Hobby Lobby haul, then you saw me haul this one scrapbook sheet individually because I was obsessed with it. And here's where I used it. So if I flip it to the back, here's the back. I carried the car image. Again, it came from this guy right here. So here's the car image there. And I had to do a little bit of trimming, otherwise it almost fit perfectly in here. So I actually need to add some inserts into here. Um, there really wasn't any from Polka Dot Posies for like a stocking stuffer. Um, so I'll probably just have to add something blank like this, or I can add some like little notes that I've. you'll see here. These are from the Target Dollar Spot. The only problem is it only has three holes, but you'll see what I've done. Here is the next tab, and I called it Movie Night. I'm really not sure why I created this tab. It's probably just for like being artsy and crafty and in here. Um, but otherwise, I just wanted to do this, and I really love this image. I love all the layering. Here's the back. This is also Dollar Tree wrapping paper. And then this is a vintage image that I found. So here is the Target Dollar Spot notes section. I had to re-punch them so they would fit in here. But otherwise, I'll probably like print images of my favorite movies and do a little scrapbooking so that I can like write down the movies that I watched this year, I guess. So, you know, like Christmas Vacation, Santa Claus, all my favorite Hallmark Christmas movies. I'll just go to Google, find the image I like, and just, you know, decorate the page. The next tab, I mean, honestly, just speaks for itself. Now, these are actually little light bulb decoration things that I got from Hobby Lobby as well. It's in their Christmas craft section. And I just basically took some glue dots and you'll see this in my tutorial video as well when it comes out. And I just wanted to string it up up here and make it look like there's Christmas lights. And this is essentially gonna be my advent calendar. I, did, I haven't added any like sticker letters yet, but, and then here's the back. This back is really plain just because I felt like it had all of these like words and stuff and felt like this was just great the way it was. And then I was inspired by this right here, part of the planner kit from Polka Dot Posey, which is the Advent Activities Calendar. So this will give me room to write for each day in my calendar Advent bags what I want in each bag so that I'm keeping track. And by the way, if you're wondering about calendar Advent bags, I did all 25 on my channel, so I'll link those down below. They were for 2015, but I think they're still fabulous, and we are reusing them again this year. And then I also added Santa Supply Inventory, Wrapping Supplies, Stocking Stuffers. Oh, there is stocking stuffers in here. And decorations. This is part of Polka Dot Posies insert again. I just thought that it would go really well with this tab. Here is the last tab that I made. Now, I wanted to make more tabs. I'll probably just make them a little bit later on. But these are just the ultimate basics that I had to get in here. And this one is traditions. So I really liked this image, so I cut her out. And then here's that green washi. I layered different scrapbook pieces of paper. And then here's the back, which has a really like 
cool deer theme, which you know I'm all about that. And then I added this little um, notepad that came from the Target dollar spot for a dollar. I just kind of peeled a couple out and then hole punched them. And this is probably where I will write traditions that, you know, I want to make sure that we do, whether it's, you know, opening up the one gift on Christmas Eve and we like to play Clue by the tree and play board games and all kinds of things and watch movies together. So I will keep track of that here and then eventually when I'm older I'll probably pass this planner down to my daughter and that way some of these things will still exist here and she can look at those traditions. We also get her a ornament every single year so I want to start writing in here which ornament she got in which year even though we do mark it on the ornament but I think over time that will fade so I want to keep track of that here as well. So this is a really great Thing to add to your planner are your traditions because this is ultimately the most important part of Christmas is the traditions and the family time. And then back here is this little like zipper pocket that I got from um, Doki Book. It came with my order. I think I actually added it for like 50 cents or a dollar. I don't remember how much it was. And I added a bunch of my favorite images I haven't used yet and some like stickers and goodies. And then here is the ruler that comes with Doki Book. And then this is a little Claire Pocket that also came with the Doki book and I thought this was a really cute uh, sign. So I wanted to put it here. Always believe something wonderful is about to happen. I thought that was appropriate for this planner. And then here's just like a plastic divider dashboard. And then I just tucked this little Target dollar spot um, notepad, list pad in here. I did have to take a lot of it out just because it, it will be way too thick. And honestly, I don't really need that many. Like I could even remove some more in here if I wanted to, but just some more extra writing room. And then I do have a spot for a pen, but I don't ever keep a pen in there just cause I always change like, and I use markers and stuff. All right, so that is the entire planner at a flip through glance. I'm obsessed with it. I love this vintage theme. Definitely think about your favorite images. Play around. Look on Google, wherever, for images that you love the most and then plan a theme around that and get the scrapbook, paper, or whatever you have on hand, whatever makes you happy, and go for it. Otherwise, if you do love my vintage theme, again, just go to Google and type in Vintage Christmas and you should be really happy with the results because there's a lot of great images to find. All right guys, so that is my video for this Christmas planner. I'm so excited about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget, I will link everything I talked about down below, Posey's website, her Etsy shop, all that good stuff. And yeah, so thank you so much. Please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you really soon for when I share with you on how I built my tabs. Bye guys.